star space. It's Friday night, and live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the... And guys, this is a game we've had circled on our calendar. Two of the hottest teams in the league. They've been playing terrific of late. I'm looking forward to this one, partner. Now, look at Memphis's starting group. In the backcourt, it's Morant and Smart. The forwards for them, Bain and Jackson. And it's Fox in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now, here's Morant. Turned in an outstanding game against Minnesota. Just three to shoot. Here's Fox. It's hauled in by Gordon. The Nuggets on offense. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Grizzlies. That one was played in Memphis. Yeah, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out rebound. Porter, no luck. And it's Fox with the ball for Memphis. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Murray against Smart. Murray left side. Pass to Jokic. Denver passing it around. And it's Memphis on the break. Here's Bain. Sweet little floater. Yeah, I love seeing Bain finish in transition. Easy buckets like this really help him get going. Murray kicks to Jokic. Here is Porter. From past the arc, and Jokic with the three. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Last outing for Denver, they won that game against the Kings in Sacramento. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. And those are the games you need as a squad. Proving to yourself you can go win in a hostile environment. Grant. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Jokic. Some guards are absolutely fearless working inside. And Morant, very high on that list. What a rise for Taylor Jenkins. Working his way, Stan, from the G League. An assistant there to NBA assistant and now to NBA head coach. Wow. Wow is right, Kevin. And Taylor Jenkins, one of the best coaches in the NBA this is a guy who just kept grinding and learning I think sometimes coaches get too concerned about when they're going to get their opportunity Taylor Jenkins was always concerned about being ready when his opportunity came I think you and I are alike we root for the grinders don't we the guys that have really worked to climb that ladder I certainly do Kevin and there's the whistle illegal screen and not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, and that's maybe something that should be called more. We see a lot of moving screens in today's NBA. Now here's Morant. He's one of the most resourceful scorers you'll ever see. He's generating an average of around 33 and a half points a game. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Yeah, you've got to lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look from that. Murray against Smart. Bob pass to Gordon, and then Gordon with the dunk. Well, when Gordon's team makes it this easy for him, of course he's going to throw it down hard. We've got a timeout called by Taylor Jenkins. Wants to talk some things over, might be seeing some things to adjust. Let's see the stat sheet here for John Morant. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. Now here's Morant. Poked away. Here's Fox. Jokic grabs the miss. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. They trail by one. Pass to Murray. 
Fox against Jokic. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Jokic has got five. Well, Jokic often likes to pass from that spot, but he can also hit the jump shot. And here's Jackson. A three ball. And again, Memphis no good. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Jokic with the screen on Bain. And Jokic throws it down. Yeah, it's almost like pick your poison with Jokic in the pick and roll. He's a master of these sets. Fox a screen on West. Now here's Morant for three. Here's Fox. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. Outside Gordon. Back to Westbrook. And it's denied by Fox. Three on three. Smart, wide open. He fired. From outside, off the mark. Denver in the lead. On the wing, Porter. Guarded by Jackson. Westbrook against Smart. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Boy, the regular season is coming to a close very quickly here, Stan. It's been a great year, hasn't it? It's been incredible. Look, the talent level, the skill level in this league, night in and night out, just continues to get better. We see guys making great leaps. I just don't know where the end of this is, Kevin. It just is incredible. And how lucky are we to get this front row seat? Oh, my goodness. Every night, we are lucky. And one thing about Westbrook, he does not have a quiet presence. You know he's out there at every moment, and his production speaks volumes. Now, here's Smart. Scoreless thus far. Great use of the bounce pass there. You gotta love that. For Denver, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Pass to Jokic. Shoots over Fox. And it's denied by Fox. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touch by Fox. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Jokic way outside. No good on the quick three. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Fox kicks to Morant. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Morant's got six points. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. Yeah, plenty of lead changes in this game. It's gone back and forth. And then Gordon with the dunk. Out of nowhere, Gordon just soaring in there, and that athleticism carries him straight to the hoop. And it was still over the rim. Offensive basket interference. Christian Brown's checked in for Russell Westbrook. The Nuggets have gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. Pass to Brown. Now, here's Jokic. Misses the three. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Morant. Six points for him. For the three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Well, he certainly had trouble finding the mark this game. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Well, Jay in that last matchup against the Timberwolves was terrific. He scored 45 points, and he dominated the glass all night, ripping down 20 boards. 
He was remarkable in that game. It's not often you see a player that dominant, and I'm sure he wants to keep it going. Guys? Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious. He was having a lot of fun out there. Tremendous victory. I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. Yeah, well, winning is usually fun, especially when you have it going like he did. Shot clock at two. Murray, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Porter in the corner. Murray outside. Gordon, the pass to Porter. And it's Jokic in the corner. A three-pointer, no good. The Grizzlies trail by three. Last season, Stan, Jokic passed LeBron's all-time triple-double mark. And he did it stunningly in 813 fewer games. Yeah, and now it's really possible, Kevin, that he's going to end up at the top of that triple-double list by the time his career's over. He's got the big O and Westbrook in his sights. You know, don't sell this guy short. He can do it almost any night. The Nuggets have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. The amazing Nikola Jokic stand. How fun is this guy for us to watch every time we do a game? Yeah, he's such an interesting guy, Kevin. He's got so many skills, and he's led the league in touches, but he's near the bottom in how long the ball sticks in his hand, constantly making quick decisions and passes. This guy is really like watching the best we've ever seen. I would agree, and what a quality to know where to go with the ball when the pressure arrives. Pass to Brown. Denver passing it around. Jokic high post, shoots over Fox, connects on the 17-footer. Jokic has got 11. Confident stroke from Jokic, shot ready on the catch. And so it's Smart who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. Four-point game. Jackson dishes to Fox. Now Jackson. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Jackson's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Memphis. Murray against Smart. Murray looking around. Pass to Watson. Launches it. Nailed from three-point land. And the Nuggets lead by four. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting lead. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. You've got to be on exactly the same page to connect on that long of an alley-oop. And even then, it's a tough play. Denver's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Watson kicks to Murray. Jokic against Fox. Two points. That one goes. And it's 13 points for Jokic. Well, when you have a guy scoring like he is, you redraw every play to be about getting him the ball. Fox dishes to Smart. Back to Fox. Outside for Jackson. Jackson passes to Fox. Fires from deep. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Just doing the job on the backboard. Pass to Jokic. Here's Brown. Guarded by Bain. Murray outside. Jokic against Fox. Jokic, no good. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. Well, you know, sometimes the most pivotal plays don't always go on the stat sheet. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Jackson. Jackson with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Fox kicks to Jackson. Jackson off the pick from Fox. Murray against Smart. Just five on the clock. 
Fox passes to Bain. The 17 footer. Jackson, that's good. Eight points for Jaron Jackson. 112 left to play in the first. Outside Gordon. Murray sets a screen for Gordon. Beyond the arc. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Well, he has owned this quarter. A major reason they're up right now. Outside, Bain. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got five assists in the game. Well, when a three goes in on the other end, Bain really wants to answer with his own trick. Back to Murray. Poke loose. Stolen by Smart. And here comes Jackson leading the fast break. And Jackson throws it down hard. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. Yeah, the commitment to run is paying great dividends on the break. Outside Gordon. Brown the pass to Watson. Gordon a screen. Now here's Watson. Guarded by Bain. Jokic, no good. The Grizzlies shooting it officially from the get-go. They're at 52% from the field. The offensive rebound outside for Smart. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. With one on the clock. That one, no good. Jokic firing on all cylinders for Denver. He put together quite a quarter. 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. Both teams making substitutions here. So the Grizzlies five right now. In the backcourt, it's Morant and Smart. Vince Williams out there with Fox, and it's Vucevic in at the five. Back to Porter. To the inside. Here's Westbrook. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And the defense should know Westbrook will not back down. He goes right into the defender and gets a chance for an end one. Where there's a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting, Greg, what's your opinion of that? Well, Kevin, you know, stretching the D isn't just about how far out they have to defend. It's the distance between that and how far in you have to defend. That's why analytics favors shots at the rim and from distance. Pass to Watson. Porter in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Fox. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The Nuggets trail by three. Now here's Murray. A 26-point game for him in the win against Sacramento. And he did a lot of work on the glass as well. He impacted the game on multiple fronts. Well, it took him a while to get his legs under him. He didn't do much in the first quarter, but now he's off and running. It's Morant with the cross. And looking back, Coach, how great was it to see the Nuggets win their first title back in 2023? One of the great NBA stories, Kevin. It was huge. It was a moment years in the making. That championship meant so much to the city of Denver and its fans. Well, Moran is so athletic that he finds himself at the free throw line a lot. Outside Westbrook. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah, I think they prepared to face more defensive pressure, and that one didn't happen, and boy, they just rolled. And you could sense the difference in energy. They were keyed up, jumping on mistakes. They just all worked. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Jokic, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Memphis also making some changes. Jaron Jackson's checked in for Vucevic, and it's Bain in for Vince Williams. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. They got for us, D.A. 
Thank you, Kevin. Nikola Jokic may not be the most physically gifted. There's an old saying in basketball, you're as fast as you can anticipate. LeBron James says he sees plays before they happen. A lot of people don't understand it, but I do. He's special. Kevin? You know, his mind for the game is just on another level. We appreciate that report. The kick out to Porter. Murray outside. Just four to shoot. Denver needs to get off the shot. Watson. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Watson's got his second bucket of the night. Well, for a guy with a scorer's mentality, Murray is almost surprisingly willing to pass the ball. Outside Jackson. Lets it go with a three. Porter pulls it in. And it's Porter with the ball for the Nuggets. With the drive. And the rejection by Jackson. And it's Memphis on the break. And it's Fox with the jam. Well, this is part of why guys love playing with Smart. He will reward you for getting open if you can. Outside, Porter. Pass to Murray. On the wing, Porter. Guarded by Bain. Here's Jokic. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Another bucket from Jokic. He could dominate scoring-wise every night if he wanted to. He is that good. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Pass to Porter. Buries it down low. Porter's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, normally we see Porter Jr. shoot it from deep, but I'd love to see him go inside more. He has great length and touch. Here's Moreno. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Sharch has checked in for Denver. Christian Brown comes in for Porter. And Memphis also making a switch. Jackson's checked in. Murray outside. Westbrook with a screen for Murray. And it's Jokic in the corner. Shoots over Fox. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. And hard work on the glass once again, guys. And they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. What a passer Bain has become. The Nuggets trail by eight. Here's Jokic. Here's Jokic being aggressive inside. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Yeah, for sure. He is just oozing confidence. Thinks every shot is going in. They should just keep running sets for him. Bringing that three-point percentage up quite a bit this quarter. Shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. Pass to charge. Now here's Westbrook. Guarded by Morant. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. Stan, we have so many great players in this NBA. I mean, every night from top to bottom, each roster, there are so many great players. But in your opinion, who is the toughest to game plan against? Wow, that is a tough question because there's so many of them where there's no good answers. You know, let's take Jokic, for example. If you play one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to score virtually every time. If you come in, double-team him, send the second defender, he's going to make the right pass all the time. There's no way to absolutely stop him. You just do the best you can to limit their team. The great ones always have answers, don't they, Stan? If they didn't, Kevin, they wouldn't be the great ones. Murray kicks to Jokic. To the paint. He's looking for Sharch and finds him. Over Williams. The shot by Sharch. No good. Oh, you got to finish at the rim right there. You hate seeing those opportunities go to waste. Bain, no good. 
The Nuggets trail by eight. Down low. Here's Sharch. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Sharch has got his first bucket of the night. And how about capitalizing there in close? Sarge has the touch to take advantage from just about anywhere. And Jackson gets it to go. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Pass to Brown. Here's Sharch. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Sharch has got five points now this quarter. against Westbrook. Jackson with it. All alone. That's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got rebound number five here tonight. Westbrook surveying the D. Pass to Brown. And here is Sharch. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Sharch with the screen for Westbrook. And it's Jokic in the corner. Three pointers off the mark. Well, you can't question his confidence from out there, but it's not falling. Maybe time for a different approach. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. And Murray's got the ball here for Denver. Pass to Brown. Shoots from 14. It's rebounded by Memphis. Fox has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Back to Smart. Outside Jackson. Fox. The kick out to Williams. Outside, Dane. Pass to Jackson. The tray. And Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got six rebounds now in the game. Murray against Williams. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. This is part of the reason they're down. The free throw line has not been kind to them this quarter. The Nuggets have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4-7 from the foul line tonight. There's so much that Jamal Murray brings to the table offensively. He is such a critical piece of their puzzle. Fox a screen on Murray. Here's Bain. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Grizzlies have been good at the line so far, 5 of 5. Good on the second free throw. Outside, Porter shoots over Aldama, and that does it for the first half of play. Grizzlies lead by 7. And we'll get going after this from Ball Arena. And thank you for joining us as with two quarters in the books, it's looking... Before we get into that, I want to know... Back when you guys played, what was your favorite city to play in? Well, Shaq played for every team in the league, so I... And looking back at the first half of this game, it's likely we'll see some adjustments for the Nuggets. When you have fewer possessions than your opponent, your chances decrease. They have to find a way to rebound in the second half. SOF, capital T, -t, 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 -t soft. I get mad watching them play. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. The Nuggets trail by seven. Murray and Porter Jr., the high scoring wing pair. Before in the five. It's Gordon and Jokic, and it's Westbrook in at the point guard. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Jokic makes the defense look helpless. Whoa! 
The width of Jokic helps him carve out space in the paint. We know very few players in the league stand can put up points with the ease that Michael Porter Jr. can, don't we? One of the prettiest shots in the league, Kevin. He's got great size. He's got that high release, and he gets it off quick. When he's shooting it well, he can take over a game. And he rebounds well, too. He does other things in addition to scoring. Well, that's where he's really improved doing those other things. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. Outside, Bain. Wide open look. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Bain's got 11 points. You can't play lax defense on Bain because he's looking to shoot as soon as he catches it. Murray, the pass to Jokic. With some arc, you coach stand at various levels for 30 years. How has the transition been to the broadcasting business? Well, Kevin, it's been great because of people like you and because I'm undefeated. <laughs> right. But do you miss the aftermath when, when there's at least a, a score sheet, there's a scorecard that says win or loss? I, I do miss that. There's no question I miss the competition. I miss the camaraderie of building toward a result. But I've started to get some of that in broadcasting as I've gotten to know my partners better. Well, it's great being your partner. Like that. Inside. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Aaron Gordon. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Start off a pick from Fox. Murray against Smart. Fox a screen on Westbrook. Back to Fox, and it's Fox with the jam. And although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Westbrook against Morant. Pass to Gordon. Here's Jokic. Over Fox. And another miss by Denver. Yeah, they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now. It's massive. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. They get Russell Westbrook. And the Denver Nuggets led by multi-time MVP Nikola Jokic. And they've done a tremendous job surrounding him with the right kind of people. They certainly have, Kevin. But one caveat here. You can surround Nikola Jokic with any player, Kevin. And he will figure out their strengths and get them the ball where they need to have it. This guy makes everyone better. So you think we're not giving enough attention maybe to what he thinks upstairs, how he sees the game. He sees the game, Kevin, as well as anyone who's ever played it. And he directs traffic out there. He is a true point center. Fox finds Morant. Jackson from long range. The second effort moves back up. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got nine points now in just the second half. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Smart against Murray. Get outside, get outside. Here's Jokic, and it's denied by Fox. Morant against Westbrook. Pass to Jackson. Fires for three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got his seventh rebound here tonight. The Nuggets trail by 15. Here's Westbrook. And the rejection by Jackson. Smart deciding where to go with it. Trying to find Fox. Gets it to him. Straight 
after the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That one on Porter. And double teaming him is the only thing that's going to cool him off at this point. He is on a roll. The free throw off from Fox. So stand the Grizzlies trio of John Morant, Desmond Bain, and Jaron Jackson Jr. From the outside looking in, what a great base going forward. I agree with that, Kevin. Look, not only are those three outstanding individual players, but they complement each other so well. They're such a great fit with those three guys. That's a great base for the future. And Jokic with the rebound. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. And then Gordon with the dunk. Well, if there's a better passing big man than Jokic, I want to know who it is. And the Grizzlies leading by 13. Here's Morant. And he uses the glass on the layup. Morant's got four points in the quarter. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Outside Porter. Westbrook with a screen for Porter. Takes a three. Can't hit that one. Memphis has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. Well, the threat of jaw scoring really opens up the opportunity for assists. Smart against Murray. To the middle. Pass to Jokic. Shoots the three. High Jokic from distance. A good look there. And he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. To the paint. And it's Fox with the jam. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> The Nuggets trail by 16. Westbrook kicks to Murray. Jokic high post. Westbrook against Morant. Westbrook, no good. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his fourth foul of the contest. So that brings him up to four fouls. So he's forced to hold himself back a little now, which may make him a target for the offense. Christian Brown's checked in for Russell Westbrook. G.G. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Murray outside. Pass to Jokic. It's rebounded by Memphis. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, it's a cliche, but the Nuggets certainly have strong values. Coach Michael Malone says open and honest conversation. That's the best way to have a real team. We talk about family a lot in our locker room. Families don't always get along, but they have to communicate. All the guys that are willing to speak up that's invaluable. Kevin? You can't put a price on it, David. Thank you. Down to five on the shot clock. For three, Gordon. Grizzlies with the rebound. Fox has got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. Uh, I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. It sure is. They've certainly accepted the challenge. The trick now is to sustain this effort. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. Yeah, he's been a beast on the glass. A monster night for him. From the arc. Offensive rebound. Outside for Smart. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Vucevic checked in for Memphis. 
Now that we have a moment, let's take a peek at the teams that are leading the league in blocks. Number one, the Grizzlies. And sometimes a team will get one guy who can block. Other times a guy finds ways to get others involved in blocking. It, it can be contagious. If he can do it, wh why not me? Then all of a sudden you look up and you're leading the league in block. Yeah, that's Murray unleashing that smooth outside jump. 21st pick in the 2022 draft, Christian Brown, who won a title with Denver during his rookie year. And their coach, Michael Malone, used him in certain situations, and he flourished. Well, you know, Kevin, he won a college championship the year before. This guy's played in a lot of high-pressure games, and that is what has given Michael Malone the confidence to go with him. He was ready for those moments. Ready indeed. Bain for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Bain's got eight points here in this quarter. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Murray against Morant. Jokic high post. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Jokic with the steal. Driving to the basket on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And that is why you want to run off turnovers. Get down the floor before the defense is set. Morant passes to Fox. Morant against Murray. Here's Fox. Bain kicks to Smart. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Morant. Launches a three. Second shot opportunity. Makes it off the glass. Morant's got 19 points. Well, what a quarter he's had. You can tell he's in the flow. They should be looking for him every possession. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Bob pass to Gordon. And then Gordon with the dunk. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Smart kicks to Bain. Trains the three-pointer. Bain's got 11 in the second half. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Jokic, no good. And Morant's got the ball here for the Grizzlies. Here's Fox, and it's Fox with the jam. Well, Morant knows his teammates rely on him to find them. Terrific pass right there. Denver's gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Pass to Brown. Murray outside. Al Gordon. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got assist number eight now on the night. Murray against Morant. To the inside. Fox. Another possession. Another assist. Dishing it all over the place in this one. He's tallying them up in bunches. For Memphis, they have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. Williams, he's checked in for Memphis. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Brown. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Look, you can get away with a lot in terms of screens today. But you can't make it that obvious. Morant passes to Vucevic and slam dunk by Vucevic. Yeah, just powerful stuff from Vucevic. But I get shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. Williams against Porter. Jordan, a screen on Williams. There's Porter at the three. That shot, no good. 
And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Grizzlies. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with... Changes for Memphis. Fox, he's checked in for Vucevic. Santi Aldama comes in for Vince Williams. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Morant. Memphis in total control. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. So on the four for Memphis. Clark is out there with Santi Aldama. Then there's Derrick Rose. Then it's G.G. Jackson. And it's Fox in at the center, locking down the middle. Denver's gone a disappointing 2-6 of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Outside, Porter. So, Greg, you played the point. Uh, and create a player, if you had to pick a different position to play, which would it be? Ooh, good question, Kevin. Probably... Small forward, wing. Uh, I'd like to be a fearsome finisher who can soar and dunk over everybody. Here's Rose. Here's Fox. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X factor. The Nuggets making a switch here. Murray's checked in. And the Grizzlies also with the sub. Vince Williams is checked in for Jackson. Well, he might have been a little passive in the first half, but that's changed. I like this more aggressive approach. Murray down low. Working on Rose. Gordon dishes to Murray. Shot clock at three. Here's the three. And it's Fox with the rebound. Well, you win and lose as a team, so the fact that they're trailing isn't all on him. But with that said... He's had a rough shooting performance. That's their third straight make off an assist. Nugget shooting in this fourth quarter pretty dire at 27%. Jokic with the bucket. Yeah, despite them being behind, he's been impressive. But he can't do it all by himself. Rose against Murray. Fox with the screen for Rose. Takes it inside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. And you got to love watching Rose play the game. His intense style can be infectious out there, and I think it really does elevate his teammates. The Nuggets making a switch here. Westbrook's checked in, and Memphis also making a switch. Arabia's checked in. From deep, Jokic. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. A pass to Fox. Porter against Rose. Back to Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. Now Murray. Yo, watch it! Greg, we see the NBA finding players for certain actions or statements. Multiple offenders are always going to be under the microscope, Kevin. Sometimes they end up playing into those expectations, so those punishments can appear a bit skewed. Bounce pass from Rose. And Rose, a fighter, someone who challenges defenders inside and attracts their attention. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. Well, they've really been sharing the basketball. All coaches talk about that, try to get their teams to do it. It's really great when you see it in action. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific, doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Fox with a steal. Three on three. Jackson throws it down. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. 
Westbrook against Rose. From deep. Westbrook, no good. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Yeah, they might want to draw something up here to get him something at the rim or get him to the free throw line. Sometimes that's all it takes to snap a cold streak. Both good from the line that time. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. Outside Gordon. Pass to Jokic. He can't get that one to fall. Good work defensively by Fox. Aldama passes to Rose. Back to Aldama. Rose dishes to Fox. Rose sets the screen for Fox. Outside Rose tries to save it. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. And he jumped out to that ball immediately. Great reaction on that deflection. Yeah, and you know they're tracking the tips and deflections because that tells you who's affecting the game. Aldama can't hit. Well, that is stifling coverage on the perimeter. That's how you stop a good shooter in his tracks. And it's Gordon missing. The Grizzlies shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. A pass to Fox. Jokic with the steal. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. Murray down low. He's guarded by Williams. Jokic with a screen on Jackson. Shot clock at six. Gordon kicks to Porter. Trying to find Jokic. Gets it to him. Good work defensively by Fox. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Yeah, and sometimes guys just start pressing. The best thing for him is to just slow it down and concentrate on solid shot selection. Porter with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. Yeah, that's a strong finish there by Gordon. Right through the contact. And for the Grizzlies, their shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? And one team is just completely outclassing the others tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Grizzlies. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And words can hardly describe the way these guys have come out game after game after game and been dominant facing both conferences. When they hit the 72 win mark, we thought it couldn't continue. And when they rewrite the record books once more, we'll say, wow, we were glad we watched it all. What a team. And they really had a dominant run of games against this opponent this year. They played them three times and won every one. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Jay. Well, as a coach, it's so fun to watch a player dominate the game offensively like he did in this one. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And it's Jokic in the corner. Shoots over Fox. And it's denied by Fox. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Fox. Here's Jokic. Just five to shoot. Gordon with no one around. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Yeah, it's always a little risky to lean this hard on the three-point shot. But when you're knocking him down, you might as well keep riding. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care. Son, you just passed MJ. Take a beat. Sit back. MP just broke the record for 40-point games in a season.
wild.